Welcome to Amsterdam, because this area is a little Amsterdam. We brought to you uh, mostly Dutch uh, artists, but also a beautiful Swiss artist. And she made beautiful NFTs. But that's not where you ask me to talk about. We have Dutch artists and they are um, working with old 17th century inspired paintings. So they start with the photography, like a mood board, making a mood board, starting with a painting and then looking for models, looking for clothing. So, and that's why these images are all built up like, yeah, like a painter does. Is this set up in photography? So this is one of our photographers. She's Dutch, working only five years in photography, really talented. And you see the red dots, it's been sold very well. Then, of course, we have other photographers, so walk with me. This is the work of Chantal Ariens, and she worked with a really old technique called etching. It started in the beginning of the 19th century. So she started photographing her models and then a negative or a positive film is, uh, is to, has to be made to have a copper plate where she can make the etching form. And etching is a really old procedure and you get these beautiful black and white parts, really contrast images, but also a softness in it. So the, it, it rather looks like it's 100 years old, but it's really modern. So an old technique used in a new way. And especially this piece is done on cloth and on paper. Uh, it's a sort of a double layered work. And it's beautiful when the wind goes through. And uh, it's, it started like an experiment, but uh, it's been sold already two or three times and really popular. And that will be a new way, a new medium of presenting her work. One of the not Dutch photographers, artists we have here is Marcus Schaefer. He's German. He lived in London for many years and is now moving to Paris. And he is really inspired by the avant-garde photography and artist at that time. As you noticed, it has all similarity to forms of the beginning of the last century, the 30s, and even the work of Man Ray has been recognized in his work, but all in a new way. So Mark is one of our biggest talents and combining and inspired by old techniques, but in a new way. Let's go to our Swiss uh, artist. She called Nora Pop. Nora Pop is uh, from Zurich and she works with the, for me, that's the edge of photography. So it's not photography, but she's using the data of photography to make her own figures. It's a, a new form, a new art form based on Instagram models and using the data in Illustrator and other technical programs. And especially for Photo Basel, she made the NFTs. She can, you can show, see them on OpenSea. That's a platform to buy NFTs and it's also a cooperation with Photo Basel. Swiss artist in a Dutch gallery. What do you want more? Last but not least, we have Schilte Portier. We took them for a couple of years to Basel and they work in, for 15 years already on a similar way. They build their own little uh, creatures. Is it a man? Is it a woman? It's photo collage, using many images to build up a certain, yeah, new fantasy world. Wooden frame, linen, mounted uh, the picture and then covered by luck, so it's protected. 
and all these figures, we, they started 15 years ago, and it's same size, same way of presenting, and they're really popular here because we sold already a lot. Is this okay?